most corporations are kind of staying at arm's length for all, from all of this, as indeed governments are for the time being. But quietly behind the scenes, you can see them taking interest. There are a number of uh, in, uh, powerful or wealthy venture capitalists. Bill Gates is the sort of prominent uh, player here who's invested in a range of geoengineering schemes. You can go to the US Patent Office and you'll find Bill Gates' name on a couple of patents for geoengineering. We're also starting to see the oil companies, uh, even Exxon, uh, BP, Shell, starting to take an interest. They're sort of putting people into independent groups to can, uh, produce reports advocating research into geoengineering. And uh, you've got some kind of rogue geoengineers, sort of um, cowboy capitalists who are going out there right now and doing these kinds of experiments in the ocean, for So example. talk about what these experiments are. Well, the one uh, that has perhaps attracted most attention is uh, uh, an experiment in so-called ocean iron fertilization, spreading iron slurry on a patch of ocean. What is iron slurry? Well, uh, basically iron dust or iron sulfate uh, mixed with seawater, spread it on a patch of ocean and algal blooms suddenly emerge. Uh, you can do this quite quickly. And the idea is that you over this way you overcome the acidity of the uh, ocean. Uh, I'm sorry, you, you stimulate the production of algal blooms. They suck up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And all of this sort of marine life that you stimulate then, in theory, sinks to the bottom of the ocean, taking their carbon with them. Because as organic creatures, they have to absorb carbon as they grow. And they grow because we've added the micronutrient that is missing, that is the iron in the sea. And so there's a, uh, a man called Russ George, who uh, an, a, an entrepreneur with a colourful history, who's carried out a couple of experiments here, including one off the coast of British Columbia a couple of months ago, entirely unauthorised and probably illegal. And yet he was up there spreading iron slurry or iron sulphates from the back of his ship, um, carrying out a geoengineering experiment, which highlights one of the main concerns that many of us have. There's, there's, there's virtually no regulation of geoengineering. And when it comes to sulphate aerosol spraying, there's nothing to prevent a government, any government or even a corporation or a, uh, a billionaire with a messiah complex from launching a program of taking control of the Earth's weather by installing this kind of solar shield. So the absence of governance, the absence of regulation and the exclusion particularly of people from poor and vulnerable countries is a very serious concern.